Milky Way's past and the whole story leads us to where we are now and who we are now. So what created the Milky Way? And how did it grow into the majestic galaxy we see today? To answer that, we have to travel back to the infant universe, to just after the Big Bang. Thirteen point six billion years ago, there are no stars, no planets, and no galaxies. How do we go from that early universe that's almost perfectly, perfectly featureless to this complex and very interesting universe that we see around us today? The early universe is a thick, uniform soup of gas with some tiny irregularities. But it's enough to set gravity to work, pulling gas together. Gravity keeps on compressing the gas down to a point and that's when temperatures rise dramatically to 50 to 100 million degrees. At that point, you get ignition. At that point, hydrogen fuses into helium and we get a star. A star is born. In this theory, not one, but millions of stars burst into life. Slowly, gravity brings them together. After a few million years, they form a rotating sphere of stars, and a galaxy is born. There's a problem, though. There's too much gravity. Something other than just the stars must be holding them together. But what is it? Turns out, the answer lies at the center of our own galaxy. At the very heart of the Milky Way, you see stars orbiting something that isn't there. And if you do the calculations, the amount of mass needed at the very center is about four million times the mass of our sun. So stars are basically orbiting like planets around this empty object with four million times the mass of the sun. This object must be colossal. It must be unimaginably dense. It could only be one thing, a black hole, a supermassive black hole. If the moon goes around the Earth and the Earth goes around the sun, then what does the sun go around? The sun goes around a massive black hole at the center of the galaxy. Within the Milky Way, scientists find their first supermassive black hole. But it wasn't the last. Turns out, they're everywhere. 